Yeah, sorry. It's been one of them days. Well, never mind, eh? Maybe we can have a drink here and just chat for a bit. Yeah, OK. Steve, I'm not trying to get all heavy with you, OK? I'm not. I just... I feel like you're acting strange and I don't know why. I thought, you know, after Peter and Tina, that, that we decided we were going to be honest with each other. But lately, every time I try and talk to you, you just... You just clam up. I mean, look at you now. You've gone back into your shell. You can't even look at me. Are you still in shock? <sighs> Look, it's just not easy to talk about all this stuff, you know? Look, Dad. Ooh, wow. Do I look like a princess? You do. I know I shouldn't, but she begged me. Doesn't she look absolutely beautiful? She does. Yeah. She can't get it mucky. Amy, stay away from the fence, love. She was adamant you see her in it. Well, I'm glad she was. <laughs> mm. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on. Is that rain? Is it? Uh, I don't think so. No, I think it is. Yeah, I think we should uh, go in because we don't want to get your pretty little dress spoiled, do we? Oh, that is fun. Well, hang on a minute. I didn't know you were working. We're short drivers. So I, I, I wonder not. Dressy. She shouldn't be in here. I just need to have a quick drink, you know, to calm my nerves. <laughs> it's nearly a week till you get married. Yeah, and everything's sorted now, down to the very last detail. I think it's just pre-wedding jitters. Oh, I want everything to be perfect. Hey, I've got some photographs on my phone, you know, of the style I want my hair to be? All right. Hey, Amy, give me my phone. No. Amy! I'm in the middle of a game. Give me my phone! Great! You know, that could have gone on your dress. Right, come on, let's get you home. I'm sorry. Sorry. Come on. Do you want a drink? I think I need one. What's going on with you? <sighs> and Steve. I can't put my finger on it, but something's changed. You know, maybe part of him feels guilty about what he did to Jim. Although, I'm glad he did it. I think he's gone off me. Oh, well, he's definitely gone off me. You are and me. He's a right moody so-and-so. Yeah, and why? Because he's unhappy. And who's making him unhappy? Me. And every time I, I try and talk to him about it, he goes into his cave and, and then I feel worse because it's like I'm making it worse by drawing attention to it. I don't know, maybe I should just accept that he don't feel the same way about me. I'm sorry. I should stop wittering. I've got much bigger things to worry about. I can't believe he got such a long sentence. It was hardly a parking offence, was it? Only 15 years. <sighs> Sam's gonna be a grown man by the time he gets there. He's gonna miss every birthday and Christmas. Mm, to be honest, I'm more worried about what you're going through. Maybe now you can start to move on from all this, eh? Not like Tracy has, you mean? She's hardly shedding a tear for her brother, is she? Well, Maybe not outwardly, but you don't know how she's really feeling deep down. Yeah, well, she looks like she couldn't care less to me. Well, maybe you should take a leaf out of her book. Mmm, God, that's amazing. Yeah, it's lovely. Mmm. You're not hungry, babe? Well, I'm kind of working, babe. Hello, streetcars. Oh, God. I love you. No, not you, Mrs. Bentley. No, he's on his way. <laughs>